But we're going to wrap this up with this last topic about the Bulls finally going on a rebuild. And I think that this is something that the first time the Bulls have actually committed to a rebuild, I feel, post-Baby Bulls. Because if you look at it, when they got Derrick Rose, them niggas just got lucky. Like, it wasn't just because they were historically bad. I think they were a couple games out of the eighth seed for the playoffs. Um, I think they finished ninth or tenth that season. They had a 1.9% chance to number one picks. So they got lucky getting Derrick Rose. Um, when Derrick Rose got traded, Jimmy Butler took them to the playoffs the next year. And then when Jimmy left, they were bad, but it wasn't like we we we, we build them bad. They were bad because you know they were just a bad team. Like, and then they had Laurie Markkinen had issues. Zach Levine was still working his way back into the lineup. So this is the first time I feel like they've committed to an actual rebuild plan for the second time post Jordan. And this is something I feel like Bulls fans have been begging for them to do for the longest time. Um, they only made one free agency move. They signed a uh, free agent center Jalen Smith. He was with. The uh, Pacers. Pacers last year had a solid year last year, three-year, $27 million contract. Of course, they traded for Josh Giddy. Um, And, you know, Kobe White's going to be getting a lot more minutes. Um, Patrick Williams got his extension, $95 million. I know a lot of people was like, $95 million, but compared to these contracts they're throwing out, that's honestly a reasonable deal for a Patrick Williams. I don't think he's going to get any better than what he is right now, but I'm not mad at the numbers. Um, my thing Buck is Buck Williams. He's basically new age Buck Williams. New age <laughs> Buck Williams. Dude. Crazy. Buck Williams had them big ass uh glasses, nigga, with them, with them, with them, them Horace Grant's joints. But I think to me, I like that they're finally rebuilding. Do I have any faith in the rebuild? Absolutely not, because our tourists and West Side West have yet to show us that they know what they're doing. Um, so until that changes, I don't think there's any reason for optimism. I think you're going to see a lot of bad basketball last, next year. Um, I think, if anything, if you watch the Bulls, I am not a practicing Bulls fan, but if you watch them, I think watching young talent and losing is more – is easy to watch than the team that's just middle of the road. Like, you knew this team – these last couple of years wasn't doing anything. Now we still don't really know what's going on with Lonzo Ball. He's been playing five on fives. He actually looks mobile for the first time in years in these videos. We don't know if they're going to buy him out. We don't know what that situation is going to look like. But more than anything, if there's anything positive I can give to Bulls fans is that they've at least picked a direction. And now we're going to see how this lines up. I know, Mike, you said you don't have too, too many thoughts on this, but what do you think about them finally actually picking a lane of which way they're going to go with their future? I'm not gonna applaud them until I see them go all the way through. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna applaud them for picking a lane until I see that Demar is gone, Zach is gone, and potentially Vooch. Um, because uh, it takes a lot to to understand and to admit, you know, that your your big plan, that continuity and all that shit you were talking when you first came in here was a failure. Um, I'm honestly surprised that they're doing this. Um, and allowing uh, Arturis Karnasovis and Mark Eversley to still remain, um, you know, uh, in charge of this. Uh, but we know that's that sounds like Jerry. Uh, Jerry's gonna give him a second shot at it. So I I appreciate it because the Bulls are stuck in the middle of nowhere, man. They're they're not good enough to get a top, you know, three pick. They're not bad enough to. Um, I mean, they're not they're not good enough to be in the playoffs, but they're not bad enough to get a top three pick. So, you know, you're just stuck there and they they exude no energy and no confidence and no excitement out of me because we know what it is. We talk about the Bears. We just talk about all these amazing young players they have and how bright their future is. They're healthy cap space picks, all of that shit. And it's exciting. You know, even, you know, down to talking about, um, you know, baseball, like baseball, it, it's terrible in the city, but there's the potential for a massive overhaul with trading Garrett Crochet and Luis Roberts. So there's some things that get you excited with the Bulls. Every media day is the same shit. Continuity. If we get Lonzo back and it's just not working. So I really like uh, the the Bazoulias pick. Um He's he's got some he's got some game and he talks a lot of shit. So he seems like a like you know that kind of dog personality that you want in a young player to go out there and get better. So I like that. And you know, I am not a Patrick Williams enthusiast at all, but I will 
tune in to see how he looks offensively now that he'll be able to get touches if they go ahead and move off from DeMar, which they will, but then move off of Zach because I would like to see those touches that uh, that Zach and DeMar were getting now be shared with, you know, Kobe White, Patrick Williams, the young kids, and, and, and let them grow. Quick question for you. If they do get rid of Zach and Boos, do you think they're top three back? Oh, and, and – Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Is that you know Zach? Uh, uh, Josh Giddy is a is a good player for what he does, facilitating, rebounding. Um, you know he's he's got uh, he's got size at that position that you like in today's game. Uh, he could get out and run the floor. You know we know Kobe likes to run the floor. Uh, Pat Williams in transition is something that we haven't really seen much of. So it'd be interesting to see that. But yeah, if they get rid of those guys. Um, yeah, we're, we're talking about their, their top three back because they're not going to be able to really play a lick of defense. Um, and you're just going to be green all around. You know, Kobe White's going to be the, the, the star, you know, the best player on the team. Um, and, you know, where are you going from there? You're talking about Josh Giddy, Kobe White, uh, Mattis, Patrick Williams, Jalen Smith, Julian Phillips, Dalen Terry, you know, like, and Javon Carter for, uh, you know, for that that veteran leadership voice, you know, that's a, that's a really bad team. It'll be exciting to see just because they're so young, but that, that that's a bad team. Cooper Flag Cooper Flag jersey is going to sell next summer. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Dante, <laughs> white I know you're the, you're the you're big white three. Dante, I know you disgusted about anything Bulls related, but what do you think about them actually picking a lane this time? I was about to say we do not care. <laughs> we, we do not care. I, I I'm gonna keep saying out of this. If I'd have said the White Sox, this nigga would have been a little more had a little more pep in the step. I, I mean, we got, I got I got my reasons for the White Sox, but no, they, these motherfuckers, no. I, I I have no hope, no no wishes. I don't I don't see anything like them being young. Yeah, that's cool. They're gonna be ass. They're gonna find a way to get the six pick again. You know, you know how this goes. So like I said, until I see it, um, kind of like with the Bears. Uh, I was off. I was off the Bears. Until you know, I started starting to see started to see the moves lining up and actually make sense. So I mean, tearing it down, anybody could do that. Like literally, anybody can go in there and say, "All right, y'all, we're gonna get rid of everybody." Like that ain't shit. So until I see more, then I'll have a comment on it. But for the same old bulls, I mean, nothing new. Bang, man, take us home, wrap us up. What you think about them picking the lane? Um, I was feeling like Dante was for a little bit. Now I'm a little bit excited. Only reason why I'm and, and and not because of any like high expectations or anything like that. I just want to see it. I'm excited to just actually see it. And there's a couple of things here. First of all, we was talking about nepotism. We've been talking about nepotism. Shouts out to nepotism because the Bulls summer league coach is Billy Donovan the third. So uh, shout out. Uh, shout out to yeah, nepotism. I, yeah, I, I saw that, and I was like, oh, look at that Nepo thing happening. Um, but, um, but man, I'm, I'm just excited for them to just blow it up at this point. That might be low-hanging fruit, fruit, fruit. That might be low expectations, all of that stuff. But I'm excited for them to just go ahead and blow it up, and let's see what happens. Let's see how Don, um, Billy Donovan is with, with young talent as opposed to these vets. Let's see if he can groom and grow these players let's look at and see how they gel um i don't want to see lonzo ball with this team in fact if i'm lonzo ball i'm like look i just spent two and a half years on the shelf i'm not coming up here you know saying to play with these kids man just let me go or send me somewhere um i'm excited to see all of the old heads go i do want to see this young team and see how they gel i also want to see them suck you know pause i want to see them huff because i want to well, we we've been wilding today, but now nah, I want to <laughs> see. I want to see if they. We can... we is a lot of people. Dog. <laughs> hey, I, I hey, I've been brother. saying Pauls. So I've been but, saying Pauls. You, you speak French now, nigga. <laughs> no, nah, hey, I said Pauls a couple of times, but no, I'm excited to see if the Bulls can come up, um, um, and get one of the first two picks in the draft, whether it's Cooper Flag or if it's Ace Bailey. I think the league is probably gonna make that happen too, because the league's gonna be like, nah, Adam Silver, you son of a bitch, you owe me. Okay. Exactly. We so, about to get that. We about to get Ron's son, Dylan Harper. We're gonna be the third <laughs> pick, and we gonna get Dylan. 
Hey man, that third pick has been kind of successful. Us, you know. I mean, uh, they gotta, they gotta. No, a, no, it has not. No, it has not. There's a, there's a third. Pick. Ain't Tatum wasn't Tatum. Like like no, third Tatum pick three. is the reason why we got everything we got now. The third, the third pick is the only reason why we like these niggas. All right, the third pick in the NBA draft is the only reason why we like the Bulls. Because without that third pick, we wouldn't have shit. Brother, that was forty years ago. I know. That's the point I'm making. Without him, this is a torn. Hey, without him, this franchise is probably not even Chicago. This is a this is a terrible franchise. This franchise would be like the Minnesota Timberwolves. And We'd the be the Miami Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies. We'd this be the Memphis the Grizzlies. So like, without that but, pick, we are not shit. You know, for the sake of for the sake of the positivity y'all have for the Bulls, I'm gonna start treating this shit how bang treat baseball. Like. When y'all start talking about the Bulls, just exit me out the screen. There's <laughs> never going to be nothing no, no, I say no, positive. I, I, like, I, 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 I don't understand why the Sox don't get your same energy. They should get it. It's because baseball is different, Scott. It's baseball different. Is it's, different. It's, it's just different. How, it's what, what, different. So they might catch a wild card. No, like, I, I know they're not going to spend the money, but, I mean, again, once again, we talk about the prospects. Bro, like, these niggas have made the playoffs three times in the history of human right. civilization. You right. In the history of human wrong. civilization. <laughs> I, I'm not trying to put either one on, on any sort of pedestal, but three times in the history of civilization. That but what's they the made only? Play. But what? But what? But what's the only point of holding on to the Bulls? Because because of what Mike did back then. I'm not Darryl, like, I've there been hasn't been. been the niggas, but I'm just saying that there. There. If there's any team, now, if I if I put a gun on my head, somebody told me who's going to win a playoff series first, the Bulls or the White Sox. I'm taking the Bulls before I play the White Sox. Like who's gonna win a playoff series? I take both. I'll be dead either way. But if I had to pick, I I picked the Bulls. If I picked the White Sox. That's, I, that's just me. I will too. But I'm also not gonna be stupid enough not to know that if I the Bulls make that bet. if the Bulls would have drafted Sam Perkins, we wouldn't even be talking about this damn franchise right now. That was the fourth pick in that draft too. Hey, man, All right, I'm just so. saying. I'm just saying, but we're gonna we gonna wrap this up. Hold on, let me, let's just let's just talk about Chicago sports. The Cubs haven't been to the playoffs since 2020. The Sox haven't been since 2021. The Bulls haven't been since 2022. The Bears haven't been since 2020. The Blackhawks haven't been since 2020. Well, we at least we've been, the, at least we've been in the playoffs in the 2020s. Sky won a championship in 2021. Exit me out the screen. <laughs> Did you say you say at least we made the playoffs? Now when I now it's funny y'all say I that said, now. But I said I, it in twenty twenty. But but when I say you know I'd rather be the forty nine ers in the Bears, y'all always say I don't want to play. Yeah, it Listen, I want to fuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Who said that? No, no. All of y'all. I ain't said that shit. That's one of the Lewis. That's one of the Lewis brothers. It's a different whoa. situation. It was a different situation. I ain't say that shit. <laughs> it's a different situation between the two teams because they have always playing with it sometimes. Three times in a hundred years. That's all I'm saying. Three times in a hundred years is nuts. It's 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 insane. It's 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 Neither one I'm going I'm just saying if I had to I, I'm just saying that yo the same discussion you have look, with the man, for the Bulls should be directed look, to man, the White Sox. Wait, team. wait till you see the United Center next year when Cooper Flag put on the Bulls uniform. Him crazy. Madison Giddy, oh my god, boy. It's gonna be Caucasian crazy out there on the west. We gotta go get <laughs> TJ McConnell. We gotta get TJ McConnell just cause. Oh man, boy! It's gonna be all season. Gonna be that you alright, white boy? Me? That's, that's gonna be the. Well, the y'all ain't seen y'all ain't seen a white big three since nineteen fifty seven. Boy, y'all better stop playing out here. Boy, even Larry Bird didn't have a white big three. Right, he ain't even have a white big three. Boy, they had Robert Parrish. I ain't wait Anytime, uh, look, well, that, what the St. Louis Hawks probably been the last St. time you, since the last time you saw who is George oh. Mikan's running mate? Them niggas are probably white too. Yeah, right. Elgin Baylor for like that last year. Oh, no, yeah, that only no, 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 because he didn't win no title, so no, I don't know. Yeah, he didn't win any title because Mikan won five, so I, I guarantee you it was some white niggas. That was the last winning, time bro. you saw a white big three. I just want to say as we end this episode, man, big shout out to DeMar DeRozan, man. He, I was actually not a fan of DeMar DeRozan before he came to the Bulls, but he actually became one of my favorite Bulls, man. I, I, I fuck with DeMar. He's a cool dude. Uh, Compton, California legend. Shout out to Compton High School. Uh, big shout out to DeMar, man. So I enjoy it. If there's anything I say about the last three years of Bulls basketball, I at least enjoy watching DeMar DeRozan uh, play basketball, man. Can't so, wait for the tribute. 
Yeah, you know he's gonna get. You know everybody gets a tribute now. Can't man, wait to the tribute. Everybody get a tribute now, but. Then paper on these player haters old news money on the other line, so I'm not gonna hold you. Money on the other line, so I'm not gonna.